<laughs> what? Guys, I'm so excited today. I am in the shores of Lake Victoria and uh, we're just doing a tour around uh, Lake Victoria. Actually, over there, that side there, that is uh, Luzira. Luzira Prisons. That's where the, the officers live. There. Those places. Actually, Luzira is too big. That side, all the biggest prison in Uganda. Is, uh, actually, it's the biggest prison. I can't explain. I've never gone there, so I don't know much that I think. So, but all I know is the biggest prison in Uganda. And this way, this is Lake Victoria. As you know, I think it is the, actually it's the biggest lake in Uganda, covering over three countries, which is uh, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. And today we are more privileged to be in the showers. We are going to do a lot. I'm going to take you around the showers of this place. We are even going to be opportunity to maybe sit on the boat. As you can see, there's a guy here who is, who is already on the boat. That is if we get a chance to be on the boat and cruise local boats just like you see. I don't know whether you can see that gentleman over there. So without talking too much, let's get into the business. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Guys, meet my friend. Actually, he is he was my classmate right from senior one up to senior six. We started with him in the same school and we were tight friends. Today he's the one who has brought me to this place to so that we I can learn more about this place. His name is Tawi William. Yes, guys, <laughs> nice to meet you. Enjoy the video. This is Luzira Prisons and the surrounding area. Wow. Wow. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> what is this for? Jamu ngai to talk. What is this for? Island. We had that it's a moving island. This is a moving this island. This one. Behind oh. there, there is a, a bridge. They have just opened it. Uh, so they, they just opened yeah, it. Yeah, I know it. So how can we access it? Like this. There is a guy who plants rice. He has a blue boat, a big one. So oh, okay. Let's go and check. Two, three, action. So, guys, I actually got someone who can explain for us this, the meaning of this. Uh, I, I just got him here. We are going to know him. And then probably he's going to teach us a lot of things. Hello, my friend. This COVID has spoiled. We no longer greet <laughs> the way we used to greet. <laughs> May I know your name, please? I'm called Z Omega. Z Omega. Wow, what a wonderful name. Yeah, so, uh, could you help us and explain for us uh, this? Yeah, 
basically what I can say about this, mm. being not that I'm also not a fisherman, but I've just grabbed a little of their concept because I you normally, normally spend, spend time here. Eh? Most of my evenings here, sometimes there. So what they do, they normally set these nets here. If you're not here in the shores, only even in the middle there, there are a lot of nets there. But you can't see because you're somehow at this time. Mm. They use the floaters, as you can see. This thing here is a floater. Mm. They tie it on top of the net, and then down they tie like stones or things that can actually sink in water. Mm. So for the net to be standing in a vertical position, to make a wall inside the water, mm. when, when wind intensifies in the evening, it blows the waves coming this side. Mm. Inside those waves is where the fish comes from. So it's, it's like the fish they follow the the movements of the wave. Yeah, sometimes fish move along the waves. Mm. So when they reach here, they are trapped inside the, the, the net. net. Mm. What the fishermen do, they come later and check check their traps. So this net is their trap. Mm. They check what is there, they pick and throw into their baskets or their boats. They have other specific methods. Some use hooks. Mm. Yeah, but they have many methods of grabbing fish here. Oh. The problem they are, I have seen mm. is somehow they are also not operating legally. Back then, mm. they used to come patrol boats there. Yes, they yes. would come and you would see those people seriously running. I oh. think that's one of the reasons they refused to give you an interview. They are so oh, afraid. Okay. Yeah, so this thing is not so legal because they say the size of this net mm. can catch smaller fish. Yeah, which are still underage. Okay. Yeah, but because you see people need to get food, mm, survival, yeah. You yeah, found right. some women there, mm. those women are waiting for fish. They oh, come and get So food. they are they are the one patronizing them, eh? For them they are like customers. Oh. They come and buy in a bit large quantities. Then they go and, and, they go sell. and resell oh, somewhere. Retail, yeah? yeah. So basically mm. that's what I can tell you about this. So that is one of the fish. Now Even check the it. net, you have to keep adjusting it into a certain position. Mm. You know, they don't just put anywhere. They have their target locations. Oh. They know here there is there is fish yeah. and here there is fish. Yeah. You, you. Most of the time they they, they, they set according to even the direction of the wind. Yeah, yeah. they don't just stay. But, but that then, one is already done. Before you came, mm. do, do you see that moving weed? That's a big part. Mm. It was right there. It, yeah. So there is some sort of an island when, but it is moving. They, yeah. We have yeah. been informed that there are so many moving islands, and someone told me that if, if, even that one is one of them. <laughs> no. Mm. You see, that's not an island. An island. That has, is a shore. Has strong foundation, but that one, mm. it is a collection of much, much weed. Mm. You see this? Eh? Mm. That's oh, it like water. Okay, so that one is like water weed. Eh? Yeah. So the, after some time, eh, mm. they are much more. Oh. Like they form a, a shape of an island. Sometimes but you get when wind has spread, then you do the other small, small things all over here. Yeah. But then under, when wind blows in one direction, yeah. they collect there. Right. The so you mean. Come here, mm. And all this part like this, mm. you, there is just this. Only wind can know what I can see. And one day you come when wind has just swept away everything and, and all is clear. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you can come when this water is like very green, like pure green. And that is also possible. Yeah. So when you cannot see the down there. Yeah. Wind is a very, very deciding factor in the fishing business. That's mm. why in most of these fishermen they understand. This time to come, but now you can see water is very clear now. Mm, but you can see. come on a certain day when it, you can't even step foot inside here when it is too dirty. Mm. Uh, like, like that one is one of them. Is, is there also one of the fishermen? There are many, there are many here.
uh, as, we, as you know we are in January and it is very hot this side so uh, normally people they can burn the bush that's why you see that place is like that and uh, over the other side is a factory I think that makes uh, plastics here in Luzida not this sure water. this one makes water this one makes oh th this is the so-called wave water eh? ah. and then this one is for Cavera. Cavera is Poltenberg yeah? oh 